Making logical connections is something that is innate in our brains. It's a natural way of understanding cause and effect, being able to make predictions and understand conclusions. It's an evolutionary skill that we have as human beings. But the formality of logical thinking, something that is wholly based on language, has followed its own evolutionary path. In this episode of Punk Right, stick around and we'll take a look at logical argumentation in nonfiction writing. And don't go anywhere. In my opinion, anyone doing any form of academic writing or essay writing must have a good understanding of logical argumentation. It is the only way that you're going to improve your writing. And even if this is not your cup of tea per se, stick around, I guarantee you're going to learn something. Formalized logic has its roots in ancient Greek philosophy. In fact, it was one of the five primary areas of philosophical study. In particular, Aristotelian logic did much to advance this formalized thinking and argumentation. And that's what we're going to look at today as a basis for learning how to organize and advance an argument. But we have a few concepts that we have to cover, and there are some complexities in argumentation. So I'm going to break up these videos into a couple of different episodes, just to clear the air a little bit, and so there's no confusion about what an argument means. Because sometimes we get uh, into banter back and forth with somebody else, and we call it an argument. But arguments based on opinions are not technically arguments. When we refer to arguments, the definition that we're going to use is that it is a series of declarative sentences or propositions that lead to a specific conclusion. These conclusions can be either valid or invalid according to those preceding premises or propositions. This and this, therefore this. Without going into all of the different types of arguments, one of the concepts we have to clarify is this idea of validity and truthfulness. They are not the same thing and should not be used interchangeably, and they are often confused, which makes a muddled argument. Validity refers specifically to the conclusion that follows the premises that are given. If the conclusion follows accurately, we consider this to be valid. If not, we call it invalid. It's important to note that the validity of a conclusion does not make any specific reference to the truthfulness of that conclusion. The validity is drawn from the preceding premises, while the truthfulness has to do with the quality of the sentence that you're looking at. This is what we call the truth value in a sentence. And the truth value depends on many different factors. Things like pure opinion are going to have a very low truth value. Things that are based on evidence are going to have a higher truth value. This is a hugely important concept and it's going to segue into the next part of the video. When considering nonfiction writing, with the exception to things like memoirs or autobiographies, the idea is that you're trying to prove a point. That in itself is called argumentation. The truthfulness of the points that you're making matters tremendously. If not, no one's going to buy your book or, or believe your essay. This starts with understanding the different types of sentences and the quality of the sentences that you're making in terms of proving your actual argumentation. As a writer in any genre, understanding the basic core structure of sentences is hugely important in terms of conveying meaning. However, it happens quite often that we write grammatically correct sentences that have very poor or very unclear sense of meaning. In particular, when we're looking at nonfiction writing and accuracy is hugely important, understanding the truth value and certainty of different types of sentences in your argumentation are the basis for making it clear and believable. So let's take a look at two different types of sentences. Categorically, we're going to put these in order so that we can understand the value of their truthfulness. The first type of sentence we'll look at is called an analytic proposition. Proposition is the word that we're going to call for a declarative sentence. Analytic propositions are absolutely true because of the nature of the sentence themselves. Analytic definitions are true by nature. As humans, we assign meaning to certain aspects and certain objects and qualities in this world. Because we have assigned this meaning, it is indisputable. Behind me, I may say, this is a blue screen. Of course, there are some vagaries and people may dispute that there are different shades of blue. Okay, I get that. But generally speaking, unless you have a physical deficiency like colorblindness, we can all say that this is of a blue shade. It is 
analytic. The second type of sentence is what we're most interested in in terms of argumentation because synthetic propositions are not true by nature. They need some sort of empirical or, or tangible evidence to prove a higher truth value in these sentences. For example, if I give you the sentence here that says, all politicians are liars, well, the only way that I'm going to be able to prove that that is of high certainty and high truthfulness is if I were to assess every single politician everywhere around the world and verify that that is indeed a true statement. This is much more difficult and has implicit vagaries within that meaning itself. And if you're looking at these types of sentences for conclusions, this is where you need to raise an eyebrow and say, wait a second. How true is this, even though I may be looking at a valid argument? So to recap some of the core ideas in terms of argumentation, when we're looking at arguments, we're looking at a series of propositions that lead to a specific conclusion. Those propositions have different values of truthfulness that we need to pay attention to in your writing in order to prove your point. At the end, you have a conclusion, and that conclusion is based on the premises or not that defines the validity or invalidity of that conclusion. Paying attention to the special types of sentences, analytic propositions, and synthetic propositions will help you understand the quality of the argument that you're making. In the next video, stick around. We'll look at more detailed structures of arguments and how they come together to actually form coherent essays or even books if you're gonna write something longer. See you next time, and remember, just keep writing. Today's episode of Punk Right is going to be a little bit of a deviation from the normal themes that we talk about, as most of the topics are dedicated towards fiction writing and storytelling. But we cannot ignore non-fiction writing, not only in its importance and skill and technique, but in how it fits into your writing as well. Stick around on Punk Right, and I guarantee you will learn something.